Memo is a software platform developed by Nokia and then handed over to Hilden Foundation for smartphones and Internet tablets. It is based on the Debian GNU Linux distribution. The platform comprises the Memo operating system and the Memo SDK. Memo is mostly based on open source code and has been developed by Memo devices within Nokia in collaboration with many open source projects such as the Linux kernel, Debian, and No Memo is based on Debian GNU Linux and draws much of its GUI, frameworks, and libraries from the GNOME project. It uses the Matchbox Window Manager and the GTK-based Hilden framework as its GUI and application framework. The user interface in Memo 4 is similar to many handheld interfaces and features a home screen, from which all applications and settings are accessed. The home screen is divided into areas for launching applications, a menu bar, and a large customizable area that can display information such as an RSS reader, Internet radio player, and Google search box. The Memo 5 user interface is slightly different. The menu bar and info area are consolidated to the top of the display, and the four desktops can be customized with shortcuts and widgets. At the Mobile World Congress in February 2010, it was announced that the Memo project would be merging with Moblin to create the Mago mobile software platform. Despite that, the Memo community continued to be active, and in late 2012 Nokia began transferring Memo ownership to the newly established Hilden Foundation. User interface equals OS 2005 a Euro OS 2008 equals up to Memo 4. The default screen is the home screen a Euro the central point from which all applications and settings are accessed. The home screen is divided into the following areas. Vertically down the left hand side of the screen is the taskbar, with a plits for the web browser, communications, and application menu by default. These can be modified using third party plugins. Horizontally across the top left half is the menu bar, which shows the application name and window title, and gives access to the application's menu. Horizontally across the top right quadrant is the status bar, containing icons such as battery life, wireless connection, volume, Bluetooth status, and brightness by default. These can be expanded using third-party plugins in the same manner as the task bar. The remaining large part of the display contains home applets, which can display data as well as serving as a shortcut to applications. These include an RSS reader, Internet radio player, Google search box and contact list by default, but can also be expanded with third-party plugins. The interface uses either the touch screen, or a directional pad and select button, with separate back, menu, and home buttons. It is capable of receiving text input through handwriting recognition, two different sizes of on-screen keyboard and hardware keyboard input with the N810. Equals Memo 5 equals. The user interface in Memo 5 is different from its predecessors. It provides four fully customizable home screens, called Panorama Desktop. Switching from one desktop to the others is done by sliding one's finger horizontally on the background. The dashboard is accessed via the upper left icon and shows all the running applications, in a manner similar to the Exposer copyright feature in Apple's Mac OS X operating system. From the dashboard, running applications can be brought back to full screen by tapping the preview window, and applications can be closed by tapping an X symbol located in the top right corner of the preview window, similar to the concept of closing applications in other operating systems. The application launcher, where all the installed applications can be launched, can also be accessed from the dashboard. If no task or application is running in the background, tapping the top left icon skips the dashboard and directly displays the application launcher. Memo provides the Mozilla-based MicroB web browser with complete Adobe Flash support. It supports an 800A, 480 display resolution so some web pages can be viewed without horizontal scrolling. It can automatically connect to known wireless networks, download RSS feeds and email and disconnect automatically without user intervention. Advanced packaging tool with a command line apt-get client can be used to install applications. Users can subscribe to different software repositories, which can then be used to automatically keep software up to date.
The application manager also provides an overview of everything currently installed on the system. Data can be synchronized with the PC via a USB connection, and the user's files can be accessed using the standard removable storage device protocol. A new update was released onto the Nokia N900 on November 2, 2011 as an OTA update. The new version mostly consists of security updates. This is considered to be the final official update to Memo 5 slash Fremantle shipped by Nokia. Further development of Memo 5 happens as a community effort in Memo CSSU. Features equals Updating equals Memo devices can be updated using a simple flashing method with a computer over USB. Since Diablo, Memo supports seamless software update, which allows incremental operating system upgrades over the air using the advanced packaging tool, without the need for a full flash with every update. Flashing remains available as a way to start over from scratch with a clean installation. Equal security equals. The Quick Start Guide for Developers warns that Memo security concentrates on preventing remote attacks. It also warns that Memo's root account is a trivial default password which needs to be changed before enabling remote access. Memo employs a numeric security code as a way to lock the device's controls and display independently of the root password, to help prevent unauthorized access. Software architecture, Memo is a modified version of the Debian GNU Linux distribution, slimmed down for mobile devices. It uses an X-Window system-based graphical user interface using XOMAP and the Matchbox Window Manager. The GUI uses the GTK Plus Toolkit and Hilden user interface widgets and API. BusyBox, a software package for embedded and mobile devices, replaces the GNU core utilities used in Debian proper to reduce memory usage and storage requirements. ESD is used as the primary sound server, and Xtreamer is used by Shipped Media Player to play back sounds and movies. The format supported by Xtreamer can be extended by compiling Xtreamer plugins in Scratchbox, which was done, for example, to bring OG support to the platform as well as experimental features such as WebM and VP8 after they were announced by Google. Third-party media players can access Xtreamer directly or via a SO media server. Window management is handled by the Matchbox Window Manager, which limits the screen to showing a single window at a time. This is to improve usability on a mobile device with a small screen. Although Memo is based on GNU Linux and other open-source software, some parts of Memo remain closed source. These include some user space software, like certain status bar and task bar applets and applications, and some system daemons related to connectivity and power management. Software, Memo comes with a number of built-in applications, but additional applications can be installed from a number of sources, including various official and community software repositories and deb files through either the built-in package manager application manager, or the advanced packaging tool and DPKG. Bundled applications include the Mozilla-based MicroB browser, Macromedia Flash Player, Gizmo 5, and Skype. Equals third-party applications equals, due in part to the free and open-source nature of Linux and Memo, porting applications to Memo is a straightforward procedure. Because of this, there are many third-party applications available for the platform. Some applications are original software written specifically for Memo, while other applications are straight ports of existing Linux programs. Some notable software includes, Media Players, Canola, Player, Internet, Clause Mail, Modest, Midori, Firefox for Mobile, Opera Mobile, Office Applications, Numeric, EbbyWord, Instant Messaging, Pigeon. VOIP, Gizmo 5, Skype, Games, The Battle for Westmoth, Wormu, Doom, Angry Birds, Others, Frida, GPE, Desktop, Rhapsody, Scumv, Free42S, Gpoda, Memo Mapper, Memo Myth, Monsoon HAVA, Navit, Obscura Photo Manager, Palm Emulator from Access, Phonolink, Quiver Image Viewer, SDICT Viewer, Bagalem, VNC, UAMP, Log me in browser plugin, Fremantle Stars, applications developed by the community and supported by Nokia as Fremantle Stars will be part of Memo 5. 
Some notable applications include Moku, Memo Mapper, Numpty Physics, Skimv, Xernal, Fenk, Fbreeder, OSM2 Go, Debian. The complete ARM Debian distribution can be installed as a memo application, making thousands of software packages available. Debian ARM packages can also be used if they are modified with the Memo Optify tool. The ability to run largely unmodified Linux packages sets Memo apart from other Linux based mobile operating systems, such as Android and WebOS. Equals media support equals other media types, such as the audio format OGG, can be added with the use of community plugins. Video, MPEG 1, MPEG 4 ASP, Real Video, AVI, 3GP, Audio Playlists, MP3, Real Audio, MPEG4, AAC, WAV, AMP, MP2, AMR, AWB, M4A, WMA, OGG Volbees, M3U, PLS, Image Animation, JPEG, BMP, TIFF, PNG, SVG Tiny, ICO, Text Layout, Text Files, PDF, HTML, Software Development, Software can be developed in C using the Memo SDK, Java, Python, Ruby, Mono, Valor, Perl and Pascal. The Memo SDK is based around the Debian-oriented Scratchbox cross-compilation toolkit, which provides a sandbox environment in which development may take place. Scratchbox uses QEMU to emulate an ARM processor or SBRSH to remotely execute instructions. Scratchbox compatible root straps are available for both x86 and ARM, so the majority of development and debugging takes place on x86, with final packaging being from. As a new feature of the Memo operating system, Memo 5 offers the Qt library as a community supported component, alongside the officially supported GTK Plus backend. This will change with the Harmattan release, which will add the Qt library as the default with GTK Plus becoming community supported. The programming languages Python, C and C++ will also be supported. The Nokia developer Wiki community has articles about Qt development, and includes tutorials and articles about development for the Memo operating system. Hardware The Memo operating system is designed for Nokia Internet tablets, which feature very similar specifications to Nokia's high-end N-series and E-series cell phones, with TIO map arm so CS, large screens, and expandable internal storage. Although the highly optimized, hardware-specific nature of Memo renders its operation on non-internet tablet hardware very difficult, most of the important non-proprietary parts of the operating system, along with some of the available third-party applications, are actively being packaged for Debian and are available for use on other distributions, which will open up a large range of other hardware options. Nokia runs the Memo operating system on the Nokia N900 and Nokia N9. Version history. Equals OS 2005 equals. Shipped with the 770 in November 2005, this is the original Internet Tablet OS. It came bundled with the Opera web browser. Flash 6, basic email and RSS clients, audio and video players, PDF and image viewers, a graphical advanced packaging tool, front end, and a variety of simple games and utilities. Equals OS 2006 equals. On May 16, 2006, Nokia announced a new version of Internet Tablet OS, which was subsequently released as a beta version for the 770 on June 9, 2006 and as a production version on June 20, 2006. The update featured improved performance and stability, a built-in Google Talk client, a refreshed look, and a new full-screen finger keyboard. Because of significant API and architecture changes, existing applications required recompiling. It is the last officially supported Internet Tablet OS release for the 770. Also included was the ability to support 2 GB or SMMC cards. The Linux kernel was upgraded to 2.6.16, with the associated patches for the OMAP platform included. This new version uses kernel preemption for improved interactivity. Equals OS 2007 equals. 
OS 2007 was released and bundled with the N800 on January 8, 2007, after its unveiling at the Las Vegas CES 2007 summit. It featured significant bug fixes and performance improvements in almost all areas of the OS, bringing updated versions of the Opera web browser and Adobe Flash Player 7, an updated interface and various API and library updates. Equals OS 2008 equals OS 2008 was released with the N810 in November 2007, based on Linux 2.6.21, and featuring Micro B, a new Mozilla-based web browser that replaces Opera. It also features integrated Samba file sharing and additional support for Windows Media Player formats and H264 and improved support for USB devices, among other incremental UI improvements. Dynamic frequency scaling was also implemented, which gave the N800 a 70 MHz speed increase. Diablo Diablo is the codename for the OS 2008 feature upgrade, released in June 2008. Major features include significant improvements to the built-in application manager, incremental operating system upgrades without reflashing, modest as the default mail client, and a new version of the Micro B browser with better performance and some interface improvements. Diablo also included an implementation of the Wii Max stack for the short-lived N810 variation called N810 Remax Edition. SSU, SSU, in particular, is one of the most significant parts of the Diablo release, as it eliminates the flash-based upgrade system of previous memo releases which required the user to completely wipe their device with each upgrade. With SSU, the user can receive over-the-air updates. This also decouples bundled software updates from the major system updates, as was required with the flash-based method, so Nokia can release more frequent updates to individual packages than before. The first SSU update was pushed on August 11, 2008, and brought Diablo up to version 4.2008.30-2. The update primarily features Micro B, Modest and connectivity framework update as well as a number of other minor bug fixes. Equals Memo 5 equals Memo 5, also known as Fremantle, is the default operating system on the Nokia N900. The release features a much more finger-friendly and consistent user interface, and an X server based on XORG rather than KDRIVE. It also features several new technologies, including the tracker search system, pulse audio, the OOM hardware management daemon, the GUPNPUPNP framework, enhanced location framework, and upstart. Several existing technologies have also been updated, including Gecko, Blue Z, Xtrema, GTK, and Telepathy. Memo 5 comes with new hardware, the Nokia N900 featuring a Texas Instruments OOM AP3SOC, with an HSPA modem and HD camera which provides significant improvements in speed, 3D acceleration, and media playback. Nokia decided that the commercial Memo 5 platform releases will not be available on N800 per Newton 810 hardware, for compatibility reasons. An open-source Linux project called Mare, a variant of Memo, has been formed to provide an alternative, fully open operating system for mobile devices including the Nokia N800 and N810. Unlike most smartphones, the end user is able to gain root access by installing an application, such as the ROOTSH, and then issuing the appropriate command in the terminal in Memo 5. The device does not need to be unlocked or jailbroken in order to install an unsupported application. The UK cellular operator Vodafone has its own branded, somewhat more restricted version of the Memo 5 operating system. Users can flash to the global variant of the operating system if they wish. The Memo 5 operating system comes preloaded with a variety of applications such as Web, Memo Browser, RSS Reader, Phone Application, BoIP, Session Initiation Protocol, Skype, Conversations, Media, Camera, Photos, Media Player, Production, Email, Calendar, PDF Reader, Contacts, OV Maps, Utilities, Clock, Notes, Calculator, Sketch, System Tools, File Manager, Application Manager for Downloads, Widgets, Games, Bounce, Chess, Blocks, 
marbles and mahjong, Nokia expects the open source community to play a large part in the development of applications for Memo 5. For example, Nokia has launched a contest at the Ernied at Cero Festival in London called Push N900 aimed at designers, artists, hackers and modders. The contest invites participants to connect the N900 to something you love. More than 1,500 additional applications have been created by third-party party developers. Equals Acker Editions equals, Nokia's release of the N800 in January 2007 included Internet Tablet OS 2007. OS 2007 ran only on the N800 and Nokia had no plans to release it for the 770. However feedback from disgruntled 770 owners led Nokia to release an unsupported hybrid of OS 2006 and OS 2007, dubbed Internet Tablet OS 2007 Hacker Edition, in February 2007. OS 2007 HE combined the binary parts of OS 2006 with most of the updated libraries and user space applications of OS 2007. Nokia followed the release of the N810 and OS 2008 in November 2007 with the OS 2008 Hacker Edition for the 770 on February 14, 2008, employing a similar method to the OS 2007 HE release to create a hybrid between OS 2006 and OS 2007. The Hacker Editions allow 770 users to access the latest Internet Tablet OS releases in third-party software, although due to the 770's hardware limitations and the increased CPU requirements of OS 2008, performance is inferior to that of OS 2007 HE in most areas. Equals alternative desktops equals, in addition to the officially supported Ilden environment that comes standard on the tablets, several alternate desktop systems are available. Penguin Bat, a member of the Internet Tablet Talk community, has successfully ported KDE3, Openbox, and XFCE to the N800 and N810. A port of KDE Plasma workspaces were developed. LXDE is the default desktop for the Easy Debian distribution, which is installed as a single application under Memo but provides access to the full range of software in the ARM Debian distribution via a triad environment. Derivatives equals Mago equals. In the wake of the release of the Mago code base, there are two main community efforts to bring Mago to the current Memo devices, as Nokia has launched the N9, which is powered by Mago. These efforts are the Mago adaptation for the N800 and N810 devices, and the Mago to N900 project. Equals Harmattan equals, Harmattan was originally planned as a transitional operating system developed by Nokia, meant to be a bridge between Nokia's Memo and the Mago project. It is still using the APT package manager for applications, but the graphical user interface and major parts of the system were improved, rewritten from scratch or rebased on top of Mego frameworks. It is heavily using the Qt libraries instead of GTK plus slash Ilden, and introduced a new UI paradigm based on swipe gestures, done from the edge of the screen. After problems with the original Mego project, Nokia decided to rename Harmattan to Mego Harmattan and is now shipping their N9 with this OS. Equals Mare equals. Mare is a completely free and open source software distribution targeting mobile and embedded systems, first developed for re-implementing Memo in the open, and then rebased on top of the Mago tools. Equals Qt equals, in January 2008, Nokia began the process of acquiring Trolltech, the developer of the Qt application framework. Nokia has since announced plans for the Qt libraries to be bundled with Memo by Q4 2008, though without a platform-specific Hildenized user interfaces is offered with GTK. This will make porting of Qt applications to the platform easier for developers, and make new applications available to users. Qt support on S60 devices will likely lead to cross-platform application sharing between the two platforms. The announcement has been met with mixed reactions in the developer community. Release history. Equals naming equals, memo code names are named for wins. For example, the latest release, Codenamed Fremantle, is a reference to the Fremantle Doctor, the Western Australian vernacular term for the cooling afternoon sea breeze which occurs during summer months in southwest coastal areas of Western Australia. 
Hacker Editions, Nokia released, but community maintained. Primarily used by developers to continue developing programs while using older hardware. Memo Summit, in 2008 and 2009, Memo developers and users gathered at the Memo Summit, the registration for which was free. Each participant got a badge and a Memo T-shirt. The 2009 Memo Summit was held in Amsterdam on October 9. The first day was the Nokia Day, with the other two days dedicated to community contributions. Nearly 400 developers attended the summit. Nokia gave out 300N900 devices to independent developers during the summit. The 2009 Memo Summit was also the last Memo Summit since Mago was launched. The event was replaced by the Mago Conference. See also, Easy PC, Hilden, Jolla, Mago, Ophono, Symbian, Tizen, Ubuntu Mobile, Nokia N900, Nokia N950, Sailfish OS. References External links, Official Website